Warning, this video has the potential to blow your mind. Nicopedia is not responsible for any of the following symptoms. Brain seepage, mind mash, blank stare syndrome, chronic holy crap condition, or a bird flew in your mouth and nested because your jaw is still fixed open disorder. If you are totally stunned by this content, seek immediate more Nicopedia videos. And let us know in the comment section below how you are feeling. Hey man, do you know where I can find the sodas? It's right over there. Oh, fire. It's undeniable. Fire, so hot right now. But why do we stare at an open flame like a brainwashed zombie? Ohio where campfires and bonfires are very common. You and your buddies would go out into the woods to drink some sodas and talk crap about everyone else's crew like yours is the coolest on the planet because that's, well, that's obviously true. And I always notice that at some point, all the party members are just staring at the fire like a bunch of brainwashed hey. zombies in a total trance. So what is it about fire that gives us the burning desire to stare so hard? While researching this topic, I found a lot of theories on Reddit threads and random science sites where people talked about the ever-changing nature of fire and how this could cause a stare as it's captivating our attention. And while I think that's pretty cool, and I agree, I then found another article on smithsonian.com that really got me nodding my head yes. Yes! Yeah! Nerd the article described the stare of the flame as an evolutionary trait that has been seeded so far down in our brains that we go into trance when we see fire. I, I like this idea. Research in the fields of cognitive evolution, which is the combination of psychology, anthropology, and neuroscience, says that fire is actually responsible for changing our brains into what they are today. There's archeological evidence that the controlled use of fire happened about two million years ago. This new light source allowed for a way to keep predators from eating our early human ancestors in the middle of the night. Like a saber-toothed tiger becoming your literal <gasps> worst nightmare. Fire as a new light source changed the way our brains regulated time, allowing us to adapt and stay alert for up to 16 hours instead of calling it quits when the sun goes down. Psychologist Frederick L. Coolidge says that fire keeping away predators oh, allowed yeah. for deeper and hence longer REM sleep, which translated into an improved ability to learn. Modern humans spend 25% of sleep in REM, where monkeys and apes only spend 15% of their sleep in REM. There are also links to fire and its ability to allow us to think about many things at once. Kind of like a meditation state. Psychologist Matt Rosanna estimates that small groups of early humans achieved this group meditation around a campfire about 100,000 years ago. So this was kind of like basic crude caveman yoga. The idea is that by focusing on one specific object like fire, early humans were able to achieve a meditation state. And since the brain regions that are used for meditation overlap extensively for those that deal with working memory, it is theorized that early cavemen who were good meditators survived longer hence carrying this trait into future generations. With meditation allowing problem solving and advanced planning to avoid dangers, fire actually sculpted the human mind into what it is today. So the next time you look at a fire and you go into the stare, remember, it's not some object your brain has randomly selected to gawk at, but rather a result of fire itself engineering your brain to stare into a meditation state. So really, fire made your brain not the other way around. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. New videos every week. Fire, so beautiful.